Okay. I, I'm very opinionated. I want you guys to brace yourselves. Like, So I was doing some research the other day mm -hmm. and I found a list of the top concealed carry myths. And I was really curious to hear what you thought about this. Oh God. Here's the first one. And you're going to love this one. Myth. Conceal carry is only for men. From the rising demographic, like we've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. I know I've been doing it since 2013. Yeah. And I can honestly say like when I first started, there wasn't a lot of women's stuff out there, guys. No. Like it was a boy's Slim world. Pickings. But it does definitely like the market has changed. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm going to show my age here. I'm in my mid 40s. But times have definitely changed too. We have a lot more single moms. We have girls that are trying to protect themselves and their families. They don't necessarily have the stigma that goes with, you need a man to protect you. Or there's a lot of people, myself included, single moms out there that, hey, it's your job. And it is your job. You mm -hmm. are your own first responder. I mean, Absolutely. we say that all the time. So. Absolutely. I remember going to gun shows or shot show or NRA whenever I first started in this industry. And yeah. it was seriously like, the women that were at these events were either gun bunnies, spook yeah. babes, or they were like tactical law enforcement yeah. people, or they were there following their husband around. And yeah. it was always funny to see like which one they decided I was at that moment. Yeah. Totally entertaining. It was like, it was like a, okay, what am I today? <laughs> but it's not that way anymore. And no. I love it. I mean, you and I go to trade shows. We see a lot of our friends. We see people that are respected in the industry and we're respected in the industry. And yeah. I love that change. So big fat myth. <laughs> Concealed carry is not just for men. Debunk. Here's another one for you. Carrying a gun makes you more aggressive. Absolutely not. A gun does not make you more aggressive. I will say we were at TACCON this year. Uh, Craig Douglas had proved a good point or he was talking to us about don't act like you're some tough macho guy because you're carrying a gun. I think that's a big thing with with some people just because you think you have a gun you're brave enough to go do things that you would not typically put yourself like situations you wouldn't put yourself in. Here in Oklahoma City there's a lot of places that I will not go uh, just flat out won't go and not not because I'm a woman but because it's just not safe. Don't put yourself in those types of situations. I think that people do kind of some people get hotheads like I'm carrying my Glock, I'm carrying my whatever. I can take on anybody and everybody. So you do get kind of aggressive, but I think for the most part, people are level-headed like us to where it's, you, yeah. you have it there to protect yourself, but you're not looking for trouble. Right, I think if carrying a gun makes you more aggressive, anything that made you feel powerful would yeah. make you feel aggressive. Yeah, I think that's probably more a character flaw than a gun flaw. Absolutely. My boys have really learned this the hard way. We were on a road trip, we went down to the beach and we were coming back and they really wanted to take me to Bucky's because I'd never been. Can you believe I had never been? So we're driving and we're about to get up the highway and my littlest son, he was 11 at the time, he made some gesture at somebody that like he, they were driving, he didn't like what they did. He didn't flip him off, but he just made a gesture. And I was like, well, if they get off at the Bucky's exit, we are not getting off at the Bucky's exit. And he's yeah. like, mom, why not? And he was so bummed. And I was like, cause you look like a grown man sitting over there starting trouble with mm -hmm. these people. So if we get off the highway and they come over to our car and they start fussing with you, I have a gun and I'm absolutely going to protect you. And that's yeah. not something I want to get into. So in some ways it makes you more careful and more logical. That's a good point. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. 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 Here's another one. Myth. Concealed carry is uncomfortable and inconvenient. I am going to say that this is actually, it can be a fact. And I want to say this because I've been doing this long enough. There's nothing comfortable about strapping a piece of metal on your body from in the start, in the beginning, mm -hmm. in the beginning. It's not very fun. But like you guys see, I wear big watches, whatever. You get used to it. Once you get the swing of it and you get a holster that you really like, good to go. Yeah, I so. agree. I always use you as an example. Yeah. It's like wearing a big watch. If yeah. you aren't used to it, it feels weird and clunky. And then when you get used to it, you feel kind of naked without it. Yeah. And especially if you know how to conceal carry properly, if you mm -hmm. have the proper support. You know, you think soft holsters, squishy gear would be comfortable. And that is so far from the truth. No. Having everything strapped down, secure, it makes a big difference in comfort level. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Especially in your bra. Myth busted. Mm -hmm. Um, let's do one more. Ooh, this I is hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> This is a good one. You don't need training if you own a gun. Oh my goodness. This one hits, this one hits hard. If you carry a gun, you better be training. Yes. You better find someone that you trust to guide you and to help influence you and to give you the the right guidance as far as carrying a gun. Not only carrying a gun, um, but the laws and things that you need to be thinking of. Cause it's not just about carrying a gun, you guys. It's well, also- The decision-making process. Yeah, the decision-making is- yeah. And 
the fallback. They always say you don't rise to the level of your ambitions. You fall to the level of your training. Yeah. So if you are in a panic situation, do you even think of your gun? Like yep. you have to have the training to be, to be functional. Another shout out to Craig Douglas. The first time that it really smacked me in the face again at TACCON. Shout out to Ling and Tom Gibbons. Putting yourself in real life scenarios. What are mm -hmm. you going to do? What are you going to do when you're in the Walmart parking lot and somebody runs up and they need your help? Are you going to engage? Is your life in danger? At what point are you going to draw your gun? Put yourself in some of these scenarios and see how you're going to react. Yep, absolutely. And we would love to hear some of the myths that you have been told. I guarantee some of you ladies in gun stores have heard some doozies. Oh, so share those below. Share Sound your off. advice. Yeah. We will see you guys next time.